People spend so much money on grinders, distribution tools, yet the most important thing that influences the flavor of your coffee is your water. Water makes up 90 to 99% of the drink, and yet people just pull it from the tap. We're gonna be manipulating your coffee today using magnesium salts, table salt, and bicarbonate. The best thing is you can buy these at the supermarket and they're cheap. As I was saying, water is the most important component of the drink. With brewed coffee, you're looking at 98.5%, and with espresso, 90% of it is water. So the source of water is really important. But not all waters are created equal. Particularly in Australia, each city has very different compositions of what's in their water. Starting at very soft in Melbourne and Sydney to really hard in Adelaide and Perth. Typical composition will have a mineral content of around 26 parts per million in Melbourne. Yet in Adelaide or Perth, you're looking at somewhere between 180 and 200 parts per million in water. Meaning there's 10 to 20 times more dissolved salts in that water. So how do we control our water? Firstly, we need to start with a base that has no minerals in it, either distilled or this pure water. This will allow you to control exactly what what you put in there. You can just buy this at the supermarket. It comes in two litre bottles, five litre boxes, and 10 litre boxes. Once you make the solutions, I recommend storing them in bottles like this. You can just get these on Amazon or your local bottle shop. This way, the solutions are made up and you can have them on your coffee bar with the rest of your tools. So let's start with bicarbonate. Bicarbonate soda is an acidity buffer. If you think about adding this to vinegar, you get that reaction where you're left with water. So we're gonna use this, what will help balance the acidity in your coffee. To make this solution, we need 20 grams of distilled water to one gram of bicarbonate. You wanna be really accurate with these so then they're repeatable and consistent. You just give that a really good mix and then straight into the bottle. So one great use for this is to add a drop of this into your espresso when making soy milk drinks. Vibrant, acidic, third wave coffees tend to curdle soy milks. So a drop of this will stop that from happening. So next we're just looking at table salt. You might have heard old Italian mocha pot users say put a pinch of table salt in your coffee to reduce bitterness. It's exactly what it does. But instead of adding just the grains of salt, we're going to make it much more accurate with this solution. We need 13 grams of pure water to one gram of table salt. And give that a good mix. How we came up with these ratios is we want all these solutions to be exactly 30,000 parts per million. And so once you work out the chemical formula, you can easily create that ratio with any salt. So as I said, as you would have heard with maybe some classic old tales, salt reduces bitterness. The sodium also helps with enhancing some sweetness, so which is why it's a beautiful mixture to enhance the sweetness in your espresso and reduce its bitterness. And finally, probably my personal favorite is magnesium, which today we're using Epsom salts for. This increases the perception of fruit-driven sweetness and improves the body. So for this one, we need 14 grams of water to one gram of magnesium. Now that you know how to use these, have a bit of a play and see what works for you flavor. But here is what my preference is and my ultimate recipe. In espresso, I have one single drop of the bicarb. This will help balance the acidity of what was a light and vibrant coffee. And then one drop of magnesium to bring out that body and that fruit driven sweetness. A little swirl and then a sip. Oh, the improvement is spectacular. Here I've got a non-altered shot. It's a little bit acidic and just a lacking a little bit of sweetness. So prior to adding that, the coffee was a little unbalanced, quite acidic and just lacked a little bit of sweetness. After adding those two drops, it's beautifully balanced and really enjoyable. For my ultimate recipe with filter, we're gonna do one drop of the buff up the bicarbonate. I'm gonna do one drop of the table salt and I'm gonna do three drops of the magnesium. This is gonna lift up all these beautiful flavors within this coffee. The acidity has been balanced now and there's absolutely no bitterness. Best thing about these solutions is you can tailor the espresso to taste like exactly what you want it to taste like. Recipes for all these solutions are below in the description, so please go home, try it for yourself. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more like this. Copy up.